The machine is running. It can successfully bring marbles from the bottom to the top, but there are some flaws. Some aspects prevent it from running at 100% reliability. I'm going to fix those flaws and make it much more functional overall. The entrance ramp does a great job at controlling the speed of the marbles as well as spacing them out. However, one issue is that a few marbles at the ends load on top of the brackets and roll off the sides. The simple fix is to add a few pieces to encourage the marbles towards the center. That fixed the issue, but I was concerned that the shelves couldn't fill up. A test showed that the shelves could still be full or almost full, so we're good to go. Okay, next issue is with the bottom roller. This is where the movement from the motor mechanism is transferred to the conveyor belt. Right now, the roller is just friction fit on the shaft. With the weight of a bunch of marbles on the lift, it causes the roller to slip. So to fix it, I drilled a hole through the whole thing and stuck a pin through it. This forces the roller to spin, allowing it to continue working normally, even with a heavy load of marbles. At the top of the lift is where the marbles exit. They drop off the lift onto a catching ramp. It's not a huge drop, but it's far enough that they make a decent noise and bounce a bit. I put some cork down to see how it helped, but the marbles still bounce too much. Turns out, neoprene does a better job at cushioning the marbles, and I have a lot of it left over. I cut out a piece to fit the space and attached it with double stick tape. It's time to add a proper switch to this machine, but I need to be able to reach the switch quickly from wherever I'm at. So the best solution is to add three-way switches. It's a little more complicated to wire up, but having the ability to immediately flip the switch is an improvement that needs to happen. I first cut holes for the electrical boxes on either side of the machine. The electrical wires from the motor to the old switch were too short to reach the new box, so I replaced them with longer wires. There's a bunch of great videos already out there explaining how three-way switches work and how to wire them up, so I won't get into the details here, but I ran 12 3 Romex from the first box to the second and connected all the wires to the second switch. I almost chose black switches, but figured that if I needed to hit the switch quickly, it would be nice to see it easier, so I chose gray. I wired up the second switch, and when I turned it on, it worked. Though there were a lot of wires and connections right there, and when I pushed everything into the box, it was popping the GFI outlet on the wall. Everything was too crammed in the box, so I added another box inside the frame to handle all the connections. All the wiring is done so time to test it. Though it helps if it's plugged in. It works great. This will make testing marble machines so much easier. While we're in the process of cleaning this thing up and making it look better, I cut off the excess metal rods. Alright, so we know it works great with half inch marbles. I've tested it, they load on and off well, cool. I have a ton of this size. Maybe 2500 to 2600, give or take some, I don't know exactly, it's a lot. I've always wanted this thing to work with different size marbles, so as not to have any limits later on. So I'm going to test all the different sizes that I have. First up is the 5 eighths. They passed. Now for the 3 quarters.
Those were good. So I tested the pinballs from the two player pinball machine. These are 1 and 1 16th inches in diameter, and they had a difficult time making it through this configuration of nails, though they loaded onto the lift easily. I have a few obscure groups of marbles. These white ones are super light that I originally bought to use with the mini golf marble machine. They didn't work for that, but they'll certainly work for this. I have some glass marbles, mostly blue, but they work too. If anyone wants to send me marbles, I will definitely use them in various marble machines in the future. There's a PO box listed in the about section on my channel. And just for fun, I had to see if golf balls worked. Surprisingly, they did. They won't fit through the nails here, but I could always take some out if needed to. This only opens up more possibilities. The supports and platform for the entrance ramp had a bunch of weird paints on it from previous projects, so I painted it all black to blend in with the lift. Overall, functionality is key with every improvement I make to this thing, though one of my goals is to mitigate any sound that it makes, so most of the sound being made is from the actual marble machine and not this lift. When the marbles load onto the lift, they clank against the aluminum bracket, a loud, constant sound that I don't want to hear. I have a fix for it that you'll see down the line, so just know that that issue has been solved as well. All right. This thing now has a bunch of new improvements to make it super reliable and highly functional. I really want to see how it works with an insane amount of marbles continuously cycling through it. So I guess I just need to build a marble machine. Stay tuned, because I'm jumping right into it. Okay, that's it for now. See ya. Doofy. Can you go away? Can you go away? Go away. No.